Hello friends. Welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this problem. If a plus b plus c equals to 180 degrees, that what is the value of sin square a plus sin square b minus sin square c? Now how to solve this problem? So what we will do, we'll write down sin square a minus sin square c next to each other. Then we will write down sin square b. Now if you remember, we have a formula sin square a minus sin square c can be written as sin of a plus c into sin of a minus c plus sin square b can be written as sin b into sin b. Now how to get something common here so that we can factorize we have been given that a plus b plus c is 180 degrees. So let's go and see can we get a plus c change it to b. So we'll write down a plus b plus c equals to 180 degrees. That means a plus c is equals to 180 degrees minus b. Now let's apply sine on both sides. We'll have sine of a plus c is sine of 180 minus theta that will be second quadrant so it will be positive sin b so wherever sin a plus c is there we can write down sin b and wherever sin b is there we can write down sin of a plus c so let's go ahead and do that changes there so in the next step wherever we have sin of a plus c we can go ahead and write it as sin of b so I will change this to now sin of b into sin of a minus c plus sin of a plus c into sin b. Now you can see clearly that we can take sin b common. So let's go ahead and take sin b common. We will have sin b into sin of a minus c plus sin of a plus c. Now as part of trigonometric transformations we have formulas where we can change sum to product and the formula goes like sin of c plus sin of d can be written as 2 sin c plus d by 2 and cos c minus d by 2. We will repeat again sin of c plus sin of d is equals to 2 sin of c plus d by 2 and cos of c minus d by 2. Now let's come back to the problem and try to apply this formula instead of a minus c and a plus c. a plus c is our c and a minus c is d. So in the next step we can write down that is sin b into applying the formula we'll have 2 into sin of c plus d by 2 that means a plus c plus a minus c by 2 multiply that with cos of a plus c minus of a minus c can I write down minus a plus c divided by 2 we just keep it one step here but you should be able to understand that easily now we can go ahead and cancel inside the trigonometric ratios the angles c and c will cancel a and a will cancel simplify that we will have sin b into 2 sin 2a by 2 is a so i can write down 2 sin a into cos of 2c by 2 is c so i can write down cos c or that is equals to 2 sin a sin b cos c that is what we are looking for